Yo, what's up guys? So, uh, today I'm going to go through how to make custom maps for DCL the game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, I've made like an unofficial SDK for the game so that it will actually load the maps and all that. Uh, it took about three days of tinkering around, but I figured it out. So, first of all, you will need the illusory uh, DCL patch. It's the mod patch that allows you to sideload files um, as mods. So you need to install that. So we'll do that right now. So download it from the description, install. And it will install. And then it will... Got some nice music as well. But So what you want to do is you want to click open. And then you want to go to your DCL game, root folder. Select open and then patch. Okay, and done, boom, now you can load mods. Okay, so second of all, what we wanna do is we wanna install Unreal Engine 4.22.3. So not, not 4.23, but 4.22.3, okay? When we've done that, and you do that through the Epic Game, uh, Epic Game Launcher, right? You go to the Unreal Engine section, and then you install the Unreal Engine versions from there. Okay, so when we've done that, we want to launch the USDK. So you want to download the SDK from, from the description. And then you want to unzip it. And that will give you a folder called DC Game. Inside of DC Game, you will find a U project file. You want to double click it. I'm just going to have a sip of yogurt while we're waiting. Oh wow, yeah, it's, it's taking a while to load. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, so I got the idea of making custom maps for a DCL uh, from a guy called Lano. He is also in the Illusory Discord. So, um,. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Lano, for for all the support and uh, for giving me the idea to make this. Um, I'd never even heard about the game before, and the guy was like, "Yo, man, gotta make some uh, custom maps for this." And uh, after about three days now of messing around, I got it to work, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty dope. I mean, I feel like a lot of people. I've, I've heard a lot of people say, "Yo, man, now nah, fuck this game," um, but you know what? I think most people that say that they just suck ass at the controls and they don't, you know, they just don't understand how to fly the drone. Uh, even I myself have, you know, for the first like 10 hours of playing the game, I had a fucking hard time. I had such a hard time controlling the drones. Uh, let's see. Jesus Christ. Get, get out of here. So yeah, I had a really hard time flying. But after like a ton of hours of playing, I sort of got the hang of it, and now it's just so much fun. So, so yeah, give the game a try. Um, okay, we got the project loaded up. In the project, you'll see blueprints, custom maps, environments, levels, and vehicles. You don't need to touch vehicles, environments, or blueprints ever. These are just here because they're here. They're not, don't touch them. All this stuff is stuff that I'm working on some stuff for the future, so yeah, don't touch it. The only two things you need to worry about is, well, only one thing actually at the moment, and that is custom maps. So yeah, custom maps, and then you go to maps, and here is everything you need to worry about. Click on the custom map, right? That'll take you to the map where you will build your custom map, okay? So in here, we have a couple things that we need to think about. And the first thing that we need to think about in this custom map is the spawn points. So the spawn point is this thing right here. It's called spawn points. If you can't find it on the map, you go in here to the world outliner, right? You scroll all the way down or you search, you click on it and it'll show you where it is right here. If 
you double click it, it'll take you to it. Okay, so the spawn point, you will never, ever, ever move. This is not an actual spawn point. It doesn't do anything. It just represents where the character or the drone spawns in the map called Locks Green something, whatever, in the game. Um, and that is where our drone will spawn. And that's also where your map will spawn. So you need to make sure that in your map, there's nothing obstructing this. There's nothing, so I should probably do this, you know, something like that. <clears throat> so yeah, so what you will basically want to think about is just the spawn, build your map around the spawn so that, you know, with the spawn in mind, um, and don't build like a map over there and then move the spawn because it's not going to do anything. You're still going to spawn right here on these world coordinates. You're not going to spawn over there just because you move the spawn over there. So yeah, yeah, so build your map around the spawn. That's the only thing you really need to think about. So when you've built a map, right, um, which... You know, you, you should probably go to like YouTube or uh, uh, Google and search for how to how to make uh, how to 3D model and how to make maps for Unreal Engine 4. And when you know how to make a map in Unreal Engine 4 or with Blender or 3D's Max, whatever you want to use, then um, basically you're just gonna want to cook it. That's it. So when you've made the map, you have the spawn point. Everything is in the right location all you do in unreal engine is click file go to cook content for windows and that will cook the project god damn this yogurt is so good you have no idea it's um it's apple and cinnamon it's amazing Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're done. So, <clears throat> what you want to do now is wherever you saved the DC game, wherever you unpacked it to, the DC game folder, or the, yeah, the SDK folder basically, you want to go to that, where the project is, and then you want to go to saved, cooked, Windows no editor, DC game, content, and then in here, there's only two things we need to worry about. The first thing is custom maps. And the second thing is the folder called levels. It's a, a sort of middleman attack hijack thing we're doing with that. So copy those two folders. And then you want to go to your game, DCL the game. And then you want to go to DC game, content. And then inside the content folder where you have like movies, packs, and splash, you want to click control V or right click and you know paste um, copy these two in here the cooked files and then all we want to do here is we want to launch the game and it's done all done see how easy this is okay so now there's a couple steps we got to go through when we get into the game. Go to fly, go to time attack, and then down here, it's not this map, but it's the second one called Locks Green Run. Okay? This is the map we want to play. So when you select this map, if you, if you don't have it unlocked, you might have to complete this. But when you have this map, click race. <clears throat> Jeez. I'm just gonna turn the ball. Can I not do that? God, I fucking hate Unreal Engine games, dude. I hate them so much. You see, you see what's happening? It's so ass. It's so ass. You can't open anything when you're inside an Unreal Engine game. Like it always prioritizes the game. No matter. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So. I'm going to turn this down. Boom. So, when the map's loaded, click race. And you'll see that in the middle of the screen, there's a button which says load custom map. You don't want to click that yet. First of all, you want to make sure that the whole map is loaded, that the countdown is done, 
and all the racers have gone. They're just they're they're gone. And then you want to do exactly what it says. You want to throttle down. And then you want to crash the drone. And then you want to let it respawn and fly away. Then you click the Windows key so you get the mouse. And the reason we're doing this is because we're just starting the script that lets you respawn, right? And then you click Load Custom Map. And then it will do some magic and boom! Custom Map, right? There you go. <laughs> So yeah, there we see the, uh, the the black cube right here, the spawn point, and we can test the spawn by crashing, and then we will spawn inside of the black cube. And we can fly out of it like this, and uh, yeah. So this is how it works. Uh, it's very easy, and um, anyone can do this. So yeah, go ahead, make some of those custom maps. Um, can be anything really. <laughs> you can make cities and you know there's probably some maps you can purchase on the um, Epic Game Store, like the marketplace. Um, that you can just import like whole cities and stuff. So yeah. Um Yeah, let's pa let's pause here. So yeah. Uh, the map works. The only thing that doesn't work is restarting. So if you can't go here and be like, yo, restart. You can't click Y and restart. It'll, uh, it will destroy everything. <laughs> I'll show you what happens. Click Y. And, well, it only really wrecks the sound. It doesn't respawn the sound. So if you do that, you'll fly it without sound. Um, let's see. Let's crash. See if it spawns. Yeah, but there's no sound as you can hear. Okay, but yeah. Um, if you have any questions, and uh, or if you want to share your mods with uh, me and Lano and you know other people that play this game, then you should definitely join the Illusory Discord. It is a Discord for modding and sharing mods for Unreal Engine 4 games. And um, there's like almost 5,000 people in there now, I think. So. There's a lot of people, and a lot of them actually know how to make custom maps and how to 3D model. So there's a lot of people you can learn from. So yeah, I'm fuck. I'm really happy I started that community. <laughs> I've learned so much new stuff just from other people learning, and like stuff that I haven't learned yet. And then other people figure it out, and then they teach me. You know, they share tutorials and guides and stuff. So yeah. Um. So if you want to join, go ahead. Um. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you want to, if you want to see more videos about m modding this game or any other Unreal Engine 4 games. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like the video, like it. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.